for a Ford Bronco that is stuck in the river down below St. George or Washington area. So we're bright and early gonna go get that before it gets hot. But you might notice we have a razor. It's not a razor, it's a Can-Am on the back. We're gonna be dropping that off at the owner's house. We picked up four broken side-by-sides uh, -side yesterday. And we do a lot of those. We do five of those a week. But we don't show them to you because they're boring. You guys don't watch them. <laughs> now I know some of you will be like, I'll watch it, put it up. And uh, to that I say yes, a person will watch the, the razor recoveries, but people don't. If something's extraordinary like it's on fire or something like that, maybe we'll show it to you. Here is the crew. I mean, Rudy's right here with the weather. Oh, it's Saturday morning and it's uh, it's pretty chilly out here and when we get into this fields and stuff. By chilly, I mean like 80 degrees. Burr. Uh, yeah. And uh, it's got, just gonna get hotter, probably like 110 today. Yeah. Looking at your, your truck down here, it's this tan Bronco, right? Kind of cream colored? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a white cream. Yeah. yeah, so did you come under the bridge then, or how, how are you accessing the river? Uh, no, uh, we, we actually just kind of, <laughs> how do you say it, jumped the curb. Okay, and, uh, we and can do just that. Went, uh, just went down. Okay, all right, I'm gonna head down to it. Um, So Rudy thinks he knows a good way down to the river that won't get us arrested. Look like his the cross members on the ground though. Yeah, and his front wheels I don't think are locked. They're not doing work. Let's see if it'll start. camera crew had showed up for this job to do oh what a world this would be this would be you think you can uh, drive it out from here uh, let me pull, forward. pull forward let's see what's going on Leave you hooked up, and then so let's, let's free will. Please, we'll just 
go around. Go around. As soon yeah. as soon as we get on the hard pack, we'll stop. Sand. In the words of Anakin Skywalker. Sand. I learned all about 10 inch wide wheels. So I've ran 8 inch wide wheels for years. When I switched to my 8 lug wheels on the banana, I uh, they didn't have any 8 lug or 8 inch wide wheels in stock, so I put 10 inch wide wheels. And I lost tire after tire, and everybody was like, bead locks, bead locks, you need bead locks. I built a pair of bead locks just to, you know, keep you happy. But the real secret is just eight inch wide wheels for what I'm doing. I have bead locks on this though. Good to meet you, Dave. Nice, nice to meet you too. Oh, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. For you. Heck yeah. That's the smallest one we got. <laughs> Can you believe they left me all alone? You ride, stranger? So, picking up that uh, white Bronco like that, I'm expecting someone to comment a famous person's name that has something to do with a white Bronco. And it's perhaps... definitely going to separate the young'uns from the more seasoned. And now we're going to enjoy the rest of our Saturday, probably recovering razors all day. You better not. You better not. I was lamenting last night. I probably shouldn't have said it out loud, but I'm like, man, I wish somebody would come and run me some competition. Take all these razor chops from me. Give me these Broncos in the river, man. These are fun, yeah. That's what I want. You know, where we have to do a little bit of work, but the, the more Vera does most of it. So we got a call for, I think it's a Ram 3500 that's stuck in the sand out the Sand Hollow. So we're gonna head out there and see if we can get it out. Yeah, it's a little cloudy, small breeze. Uh, hot, it's probably 95 or 100. And uh, we'll go find them. Hopefully, yeah. We figured getting weight out of the trailer would be a little easier, but it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> and then we tried to pull it with the rover, but we don't have any straps. So we used the lunge line. It snapped. I wasn't driving. I was oh, in the okay. back watching them. I was like, this is not a good idea. <laughs> yeah. And then all you see, it just digs in and stops. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Go ahead and jump in it, Lizzie. Okay, you're gonna wanna get on a little bit early. Brake and the gas? Yes, power brake it, and then let off the brake a little bit. Try to get you up on top. I should put it in four wheel drive. <laughs> 
struggling so bad. <laughs> So we're so keeping your wheels straight is more important than sawing on anything that we do here. Okay. And we're going to be doubling back. We'll probably go out about where he went in. Okay. So like on it. trailer hooked up to it and it was soft sand. We had to hook up three ropes and we got them out and they're happy and thanks for watching. <laughs>